Hey all you WinBeta fans out there, this is Sean Ong again with another HoloLens video. This time I'll be diving a little bit deeper and taking a closer look at the HoloLens. First of all, let's talk about the actual hardware and comfort. I want to point out that the actual HoloLens, the experience if you will, are these tiny lenses right here. Everything else you see are the sensors, the battery, the processor and more. Basically, as technology improves and gets smaller, there's no reason why everything else couldn't fit into something like the frame of your glasses. But given the state of today's technology and that we have a bigger device, the HoloLens team did a fantastic job making this device as comfortable as possible. To put it on, I basically tightened this halo around my head, supporting as much weight as possible on my head instead of my nose. I can also move the device closer or further away from my face, a great plus for those people who wear glasses. Finally, I can adjust the HoloLens up and down, making sure I can see things clearly. There are also some optional comfort accessories included for those who may need it, such as the nose clip and the headband. So now that we're inside the HoloLens, I want to walk through the user interface of Windows 10 Holographic. The start screen is brought up with a bloom gesture or a flower-like gesture. Here you'll see all your pinned apps and of course you have access to the complete listing of apps. There's also quick access to taking photos and videos. Also, Cortana is always listening to you so you can easily say something like, Hey Cortana, go to settings. Inside settings you'll see a wide range of options for your HoloLens. Everything has a really familiar Windows 10 look, keeping in line with Microsoft's vision of a unified Windows 10 platform across all devices. There's some really cool apps available for the HoloLens, including RoboRaid, a robot invasion game, Holo Studio, a holographic design studio app, Galaxy Explorer, Holo Tours, and much more. Windows 10 Universal apps also can work with the HoloLens as 2D apps floating in 3D space, although I only found that a select few Universal apps actually work with HoloLens. I believe it's up to each app's developer to enable the Universal app to work with the HoloLens. Overall, the HoloLens team did a fantastic job with the device. Motion tracking, spatial mapping, and frame rate are beyond excellent. There are a few areas that could improve, such as the lack of peripheral vision, the overall size and weight of the device, and also working with USB and Bluetooth accessories. For example, I can use a Bluetooth mouse, but it conflicts with my gaze cursor. But after using the HoloLens for about a week, I'm positive that this is the future of computing. This is absolutely awesome, and I can't wait to see how Microsoft and others improve on this breakthrough technology. Well, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do stay tuned for more, and thank you very much for watching.